Dave Vellante and welcome to theCUBE, the special presentation here from Amazon in Boston. We're talking storage, a real, real group of intelligent people here in the storage world and we're really excited to have Kevin Miller. You got hard news today around uh, this thing called replication time control. Yeah. What's, what's that all about? What, what should we know about S3 replication? What problems is it solving for customers? Why'd you do this? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're very pleased to announce uh, the launch today of uh, S3 replication time control. This is a feature that um, a number of customers across, really across the board, uh, large enterprise as well as public sector customers have asked us for to really give them uh, insight and confidence that critical data they need to have replicated will be done um, in the time frames that they require. So uh, we're actually today offering the industry first uh, SLA of 99.9% .9 of data will be replicated with, within 15 minutes when using replication time control. And really most data is replicated within a matter of seconds, but then having that SLA to back up that promise. So uh, we have a number of customers who use uh, S3 replication today, uh, both as in our cross-region replication as well as same region replication. And so uh, the use cases really span the gamut uh, from customers who are looking to just back up their data, so they might make a copy into a lower cost storage class to have a backup of that data, uh, as well as customers that uh, want to have a, an always-on uh, disaster recovery site where they can replicate uh, the data and then have a live a uh, hot, ready-to-go replication in another region uh, for disaster recovery. Okay, so let's double-click on that a little bit. Cross-region replication, CRR. Yeah, CRR. Um, Tell us more about that. What, what should we know there? Well, CRR is a capability we've had for a long time, and it's it's a really critical capability, a building block that our customers use to ensure that they can um, maintain a second copy of the data in another region. And so, and with CRR, they can not only replicate the data, but they can actually replicate it into a completely different account. So they can actually have two accounts that uh, with uh, potentially you know, different access control and different uh, administrative who can access those accounts. So they really have confidence that uh, even if um, there was a, a, an issue with their application in one region, that they can uh, immediately uh, begin uh, operating in that second region. And so, uh, so we, we have customers who use replication for uh, backup and recovery, but also for, uh, as I said, sort of live replication to have a, an always on DR site. Okay, and you also just recently announced the same reason, region yeah. Rep replication, tell That's us right. more about that. Well, same region replication, uh, it provides uh, many of the benefits of cross-region replication, but does so within one region. So we do have some customers who uh, would like to, for example, make a, a backup copy of their data into a different account, but they need to maintain that data uh, within the same geography, perhaps for data sovereignty reasons, or that they just want to keep everything in one region, but still have that second copy. So with same region replication, it's really just one parameter in the replication configuration, and they have all the benefits that we've historically had with uh, cross-region replication. So Kevin, what should we be watching for just in terms of S3 replication? I mean, replication generally is very important for customers. Absolutely. But, but kind of what's next for Amazon S3 replication that we should be paying attention to? Well, you know, we uh, we think that replication today has a, a, a range of, of different differentiated capabilities uh, in, in terms of the ability to replicate on a tag level or replicate uh, you know, a subset of the data. And so, you know, really our goal with replication is just to make it as easy as possible for customers to configure um, the replication they need uh, and, and provide the, that flexibility while also providing the, the sort of the fully managed experience that we have with S3 where you don't have to build your own software to do it. So, you know, we're going to be continuing to work with customers uh, to uh, simplify the, the things that they need to do to configure replication for their different use cases. Well, let's talk about that customer angle. You know, just thinking about S3 replication time control, what do you expect you know, customers to be saying about this? Mm -hmm. How they're going to be using mm -hmm. it? What kind of problems are they they're going to be solving? Yeah, well we have customers, you know, particularly those in regulated industries or in, in government, public sector, where you know, they are under very stringent requirements to be able to prove that they always have a second copy of the data, and and this is the way that they can do that. So we are, uh, you know, working with customers in, in with some of the tightest regulations you can imagine, who are saying, yeah, this is what I need, and with this capability now, I can I can watch it, I can monitor it, uh, and I and, and more importantly, I know that the data is there. For them, they can't start processing the data until they know that that second copy is is made. So they're using the replication time control metrics to 
you really look at it real time and say, OK, I'm ready to begin processing this data because I know I have both copies made. Well, it's great to see you guys really expanding the storage portfolio. Again, it started very simple, but you get that flywheel effect going. It's it's a critical part of the value yeah. chain, so yeah. congratulations. I'll give you last word. Any, yeah. any last Well, I, I just think that, you know, Obviously, the you know S3 stands for simple storage service, and despite all of the flexibility and capability we're trying to build in, at the same time, simplicity is you know job number one for us. And so uh, we're just really excited about with replication time control. Uh, we think that we've built something that uh, both hits that uh, that mark of being simple, but also provides just a lot of capability uh, that uh, that otherwise you know would take quite a bit of effort to it's, build. It's always a balance, right? The simpler you make it, the more customers want. So Kevin, thanks so much yeah. for coming on the cube. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, thanks for having me. You're welcome, and thank you for watching everybody. Right, right back, right after this short break. <laughs>